What's going on, chickies? Today we're going to be going over server meshing and whether or not it'll be important and how it's going to be if, like important and affect our game style. So, before we get into it, don't forget to check out all our discount codes. Don't forget to get, check out Discord and our merch. Go check out our merch. I do have a discount code for that as well, so that is something that you want to check out. Also, channel memberships and patron. But before we go really into depth with this, I really just want to put to the point that I know server meshing is going to play a major role in the game and it's going to have a massive effect on how we play our game and just the way that the game is going to be you know sort of pushed but I really just want to talk about you know with the server meshing and iCache we know we've we've got iCache in an iteration right now that's why you know we've got like mod not modularity but that's why we're getting like the whole C and the whole A series because it takes that certain point of iCache for that persistence and having that cargo style because obviously the cargo, the hull C isn't a small vessel when it comes to cargo hauling, but it is not like the biggest one you can get, obviously. But I really just want to touch base on, you know, what what affects, what is it going to do with the ships? Is it going to be the, to the point where we need IK, uh, you know, server meshing and IK for ships like the Polaris and whatnot? But we might not need to, as we do have the 890 jump, and it's going to be one of those ships that eventually, if we don't have you know we don't have server meshing there's gonna be a lot of ships that we can't have so like the idris or the javelin but then at the same time we need squadron 42 to be released to be able to have those ships so talking over a vast um, majority of iCache and server meshing i think the server meshing part of it is going to be so great with this game that when you know you jump into a server there's going to be a couple of thousand people maybe not that many but you know it could always be something that we can exaggerate so it could take like as one server with you know the server meshing could take like 1000 to 2000 people depending on how you know it interacts with each other and whether or not it's going to be somewhat efficient and you know there's going to be a few iterations of server meshing but they really just need to get the server meshing out the door to be you know functional and something that's going to start a sort of game style and be you know important to the verse because i think if we think about it you know the the server meshing is going to be something that has never been done like through the industry like what you know cig is doing it right now and i think if you really do think about it and you put it into perspective it's something that is going to change the gaming industry forever it's going to change star citizen forever you know star citizen is always going to be that game that's there it's always going to be that game that's you know always changed that revolution in the gaming industry and just in an industry in general and people are probably going to use that technology over the time when they actually start doing bigger developments and wanting sort of more player based games so like say you've got battlefield and you don't have server meshing maybe they will need server meshing for having bigger lobbies and i know that you guys think that server meshing is a lot further away than what we thought you know it could be but i feel like it's going to be something that's going to be done over the next year because if you do have a look at it on the tracker it is done like by mid-june next year or mid-year next year so yeah i know what you guys are talking about i can see the comments already oh you know it's not going to be here for a few years well we don't know that you don't know that and to the point where people are like, you know, we're going to be waiting years for Squadron 42. We're going to be waiting years for server meshing. Go and look at the tracker. I know it might not be the most accurate interpretation, but if you go and look over there, you'll see the fact that, you know, all this stuff is supposed to be done by next year. You know, it could be just the first iteration of server meshing, and that's as far as they've gotten. But at the same time, I think we really do need to take into consideration that, you know, they could be much further along than what we thought, and they are always putting a little bit of persistence in with every patch. They're updating the renderer, they're updating iCache, obviously being that we know now that we have like physicalized inventory which is you know we needed iCache to do that so that is there now and Chris Roberts did say that it was going to be done by the end of the year so there's always that point of view if you really do look at it the way you know a lot of us look at it and some people do look at it but then there's a lot of like really perspective people out there who think they know better than everyone else you know but i think as a collective community we really do need to start taking on a board of how we start thinking how this community is going to be developed and whether or not you know it's going to be what we expect it to be because they you know cig know they have to deliver and they've been expanding forever 
which is also good. But going to like the main point, if it's going to be important or not, yes, it's going to be very important to the game style and the way this game is going to be developed, obviously, and it's going to be important when we have big capital ships like the Idris and the Javelin flyable in the verse, along with like the Hully and all those other vessels and all the interactions that we're going to have within the game because, you know, a lot of the functionality itself could actually cause a lot of server issues. So whether or not you have the need or, you know, we you have that ability to need server meshing it, we're going to need it at the end of the day like with the amount of stuff they in like intend to bring into star citizen we're really going to need it anyway so it's not going to be something of what you know we probably won't need it it's going to be a need of like a question that yeah we're going to need it but when's it coming and what you know what can we expect in the meantime while we wait for that functionality to come into game because it might not always be important but like i said Server meshing is going to play a major role in this game, mark my words, and it's going to change everything forever. It's how I think Space thinks like that, and a lot of other people think that as well. So whether or not you're here for the long term and the, the long haul, it's completely up to you. Um, I know CIG probably wouldn't care if anyone left, but at the same time, I think you want to be here while this achievement and this milestone is being made within the gaming community you might not think that it's going to be here for a few years and you think that you know CIG is just flying through their teeth but I think you need to take into consideration that this is happening this is coming and you know next year is going to be a massive year for ships I feel and just the game development in general I mean just look at the first quarter of next year there's already so much coming like they're going to have that personalized uh, hangar app as well they're going to have uh, your persistent hangers there's there's just all this stuff coming that you know is going to change the game forever and the way that we play so let me know down in the comments below i'm also going to be doing a giveaway on a piece of merch over these next few videos so just leave a comment if you want a piece of merch just put in hashtag merch and i will put you in the giveaway so the way it's also going to work is that i won't order the merch yet once i picked a winner the winner will then uh, have to contact me on discord and then give me their address and i'll sh have it shipped straight to them so uh, you know there's no need for that middleman and we will be doing a giveaway on the t16000 that i own and i'll be trying to um, put together some other stuff so for the t16000 we need to get to 8000 subscribers and then i'll do a giveaway and it's open to everyone in the world you're not just going to be restricted to australia or whatever so i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you in the verse